Win a home on Afternoon Express where you, the viewer, can win one of three luxury apartments at Valdivia Estate in the Cape Winelands worth over 3 million rand. Designed by our three contestants using finishes provided by Caesarstone and Plascon. Welcome back. We've had so much fun exploring and discovering beautiful homes on privateproperty.co.za during Winner Home. And today we have our last home of the week for the series, hosted on privateproperty.co.za. This grand house is situated in the gorgeous Mount Edgecombe in Durban and brings with it extraordinary living. I'm in beautiful, friendly Durban, just west of Umslange. Today I'm taking a look at a home in the prestigious Mount Edgecombe Lifestyle Estate. Not too long ago, this was just sugar plantations and now it's a sweet place to live. I thought this would be a great place to start the tour. Sure. How's this for a veranda? This is so stunning. It's nice and open. You've got a beautiful view. It's got a really nice feel to it. I mean, you can just imagine yourself sitting here on a Saturday afternoon. Yeah, absolutely. Great entertainment area. Absolutely. Um, if I'm not mistaken, though, Mount Edgecombe used to be just sugarcane fields. Yeah, absolutely. When I was eight years old, I used to come to swimming training out here. I used to drive all the way from Durban North out to Mount Edgecombe. It was quite a long trip, and you drove through forests. So to see it today, and it's one of the most prestigious golf estates in the country. Let's talk briefly about investments. Why has this area exploded the way it has? Well, there's been such a big trend to moving towards living on estates. And I think obviously one of the number one things that buyers look for in today's market is security. And when you're buying on Mount Edgecombe Estates, that's the number one thing that you're getting. You're getting incredible security, you're getting an outstanding lifestyle, but you're able to live with open doors, live on your verandas, and you don't have to worry about security. As we were driving through the estate to get to this beautiful home, I noticed that a lot of the houses have got similar aesthetics. Yeah, I think that's one of the reasons when you buy onto a estate, you're kind of accepting that you're buying into a specific style of property, um, a specific architectural style. And Mount Edgecombe, as an association, you know, they will govern everything that happens here. So when you're doing plans, everything's got to be passed by the association. And it's done for a specific reason. You know, they want there to be a certain uniformity and a certain style to, to this estate. So it was based on the old Natal veranda style. So you'll find a lot of the properties have these incredible verandas, which is what we're standing on right now. And it just leads itself to, to open plan living. Uh, and then living outdoors and in Durban, you know, what more can you ask for? We've got a brilliant climate all year round. So let's live outside. Well, this random most certainly is the focal point of this home, right? As you walk into this property, you're literally drawn to this veranda. And as you rightly said, it is the focal point of the home. Um, and if you consider, you know, the type of person that's going to buy a home like this, he's a corporate, he's an executive, and he's going to want to relax on his downtown with his family, with her family, and they want to spend quality time here with family and friends. And this home just leads itself to entertainment. And everything just flows so nicely, and that's such an important aspect of a home, is that there's a good flow. I love the flow of this house. Everything just sort of seems to go from one room into the next. It's got a beautiful, inviting feel about it. Absolutely. And now here we are in the central living area. This is the family room. Lovely flow once again from the kitchen out into the lounge. You've got a casual dining area over there. And of course, behind us over here, you've got the formal dining space. Grant, how do multiple living areas add value to a property like this? Well, the price of any property is determined by three things. It's location, it's accommodation, and the condition of that property. So obviously every room that you add onto a house, you're technically you're adding value to the, to the price of the home. So the design of the home has to be very carefully considered. You know, and, a, and a home that has a great flow from living to entertainment area is going to fetch a higher value than a home that's got rooms all over the place and just doesn't have that same natural flow. Well, we've explored quite a lot so far. I'm keen to continue. Where does the family stay? They're upstairs. They've got four amazing bedrooms upstairs. Let's go and have a look. Awesome. I particularly love the way that they've added little ornaments here and there. It looks stunning. Absolutely. The finishings are very good. It's very important on a, on a half priced home as well. Well, then, look, this is the main master bedroom. And as you can see, it is absolutely huge, isn't it? Yeah. Really, really big. This room is so on trend with everything available in one facility. It's perfect for the executive homeowner. Exactly, and this home is being marketed for the executive. 
And as you've seen downstairs, the living area downstairs is all very open. It's got a great flow. The last thing you want to do is come to bed at the end of a long day and you're coming into this cramped up space. So that's why this bedroom is just perfect, once again, for the executive. It's got wide open spaces, it's got your walk-in closet, and if absolutely necessary, it's got your study in the corner where you can slip in a few extra hours of work. But definitely a great space to come and just completely forget about the day. Something that really caught my eye was this wallpaper behind us because it really reflects the outdoors. It sounds like Mount Edgecombe celebrates nature. Well, not only are we living around a championship golf course, but we're actually living on a conservancy, a protected conservancy. So you've got an abundance of wildlife, you've got impala, you've got other sorts of buck, you've got vervet monkeys that run amok here. Of course, you've got an abundance of bird life. So it all adds up to this amazing lifestyle that you buy into when you buy a property on Mount Edgecombe Country Club Estate. Here at Mount Edgecombe, nature and family living combine to create this beautifully harmonious lifestyle. If I've piqued your interest, head to privateproperty.co.za to find the home and neighbourhood that suits your needs. Pad Home really has one of the most beautiful open plan living areas. And speaking of living areas, recently Joanne's lounge saw her winning her first challenge of the series. And after all the weeks of hard work she's put into her apartment, what a better way for her to be rewarded than a relaxing day at the spa. CBC finally won a challenge and we are at the Pearl Valley Spa to enjoy our rewards that we uh, really deserve because we worked so hard. I brought my sister with me to enjoy the day. Team BC for the win, and we can't wait to just lie down, relax, and enjoy our spa treatments. Uh, Breeze Spa is an awesome spa. It's situated on Valdivia and Pearl Valley. We cater for our residents as well as any um, guests from all over. It's a destination spa to come and enjoy yourself and, uh, and make the most of the surroundings. Uh, Jeanne and her sister are going to experience the absolutely magnificent gold facial. It's a, a, a facial that's literally got pieces of gold in it and it uh, awakens the skin and gives them the most magnificent glow. So at the moment we have real gold and diamonds on our face. It's very good for you, apparently. <laughs> and um, I'm just so relaxed and I feel a bit, like, a bit weird with this on my face, but um, it's good. I feel um, like I'm shining bright like a diamond. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely saved the best for last. This is the perfect prize for the final challenge. Oh, the hot golf ball massage is, has been developed because we're situated on Pearl Valley Golf Course and we have come up with an idea of heating up golf balls. The golf balls are heated and they have dimples in them and it allows for some real deep tissue massage which gives them the benefit of uh, relaxation and improved circulation and they leave the treatment feeling like new people. It's absolutely stunning. That was so nice. I feel so relaxed and rejuvenated. I'm ready for the final. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Oh, Joanne, I'm so proud of you shining bright like a diamond. I clearly have rubbed off onto you. It's really good to see you celebrating your win. I cannot wait because this Friday, South Africa, we're going to be announcing which one of those three design contestants is our winner. Plus, one of you at home is going to walk away with a home worth more than three million rand live on South African television. It's going to be an episode not to be missed and it's happening this coming Friday. If you haven't entered to win, here's the details on how you guys have been entering over the last while. Our design contestants have completed their homes. Watch the Winner Home Grand Finale live on Friday the 26th of August to see which designer takes home the accolades. Plus, one lucky Afternoon Express viewer will win themselves one of these amazing homes valued at more than 3 million rand. If you win, would you choose Minentle's colourful interior, Joanne's minimalism or Rudolph's fashionable style? Tune in on Friday the 26th of August at 5pm to see who will win.